In this video, I want to show you how to add GPS locations to an EpiInfo map. We're going to take EpiInfo version 3.4.3 software and an Excel spreadsheet, and you will learn how to place latitude and longitude points on a map. This would be useful if you had a set of points for institutions like schools or churches or clinics that you wanted to place in a country map. We begin with the GPS locations in a spreadsheet. EpiInfo will ask you for the X and Y variables and notice that the Y is where you record the north-south value and X is the east-west value. EpiInfo likes to have these coordinates recorded in decimal degrees. We begin by opening the Analyze Data module of EpiInfo and read the Excel file that we created with our locations. So we're going to find our Excel 80 format. We're looking for the Excel spreadsheet. And we're going to read in sheet 1. We have our file names or our field names in the first row. So now we have it read into EpiInfo and we're going to convert it to an access database by writing it out as an Access 2000 database and we are going to give it a name GPS to map and the table will be to map we want to be sure over here on the left that all is ticked and we see that we have our file field names here so we'll say OK now we can exit that portion and come over to create our maps we're going to create using a map of Thailand so we'll open the Thailand country shape file and we have a map of Thailand. Now we're going to add points which are in our da access database file. We will open them. OK. And we have our fields. They need to be different for latitude and longitude, obviously. So we'll make one of them X and one of them Y. We're going to make them a bright color and we'll make them bigger so that they'll be easy to see. And we're going to save them as a layer so that the locations can be added to the map later. And we'll say, OK. We have to give our layer a file name, so we'll call it school and save it. Now you can see that we have our three layer or our layer with three schools showing. 